I was thinking back to what it was felt like to be 23 years old and you start your first job. What if somebody handed you somebody's life and said, okay, this is your job now. You have to keep this person out of jail. And it's not only their life, it's their children and their families. All these people are counting on you. Have a good time. They have the, the gall to say that this is not a big case. There are huge consequences. This boy will become a convicted felon. That's the reality of it. That's what this case represents. I'm Don Porter. I'm the director of Gideon's Army, and the U.S. documentary competition at Sundance Film Festival. Gideon's Army is about three young public defenders as they experienced what it was like to be a criminal defense lawyer working in the Deep South. We have more people in prison than any other country in the world. By a factor of 10, we have more people in prison. The only thing that stands between anybody and prison is a lawyer. And if you're poor, that person's a public defender. Even though I'm a lawyer, I think like most people, I had no idea what it was like to be a lawyer representing somebody charged with a terrible crime. Um, and I was really curious, like, why would you ever want to do that job? You have really low pay, really long hours, people charged with terrible crimes, and I wanted to know why anyone would willingly subject themselves to that kind of world. I am an optimistic person. Um, I get teased a lot about <laughs> how optimistic I am. Um, and I really made this film for people like me, who, even with my legal background, I had no idea what happens if you're poor and you get arrested. That's the beauty of this system. It's set up to give people the presumption of innocence, to give them an opportunity to not just be heard, but hold the state accountable. You want to take my liberty, you got to do it right. I really felt like if people see what actually happens, that they would care about that and that they would want to make the improvements that we can make to a criminal justice system to live up to our constitutional obligations. So I made it because I'm hopeful.